finally took the time to sit down and record a video of a perm rod set and these are pretty much my final results. I do really like the perm rod set. Excuse the noise that is shade. But to me it looks extremely similar to a flexi rod set. So it's kind of a toss up. I think that you can get virtually the exact same results whether you have perm rods or flexi rods because that's kind of what I'm observing right now. My hair didn't completely dry but it's it's just ever so slightly damp but I do like the curls. I love the way that it turned out. I like the way that it fell. Perm rods do give you shorter curls which I don't mind because they'll fall over the next couple of days. It's super easy and it doesn't take that long. I did sit under the dryer for maybe 30-45 minutes and I slept in them. So let's see how I did them. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair and the very first thing that I'm going to do is apply my favorite leave-in conditioner which is on handmade hairdo and I'm going to saturate the strands of the hair with this leave-in. Now because I have continued to use the lock method following the leave-in conditioner I'm going to add an oil and this oil is jojoba oil and I like it because it comes with this little dropper to kind of measure how much you're using and I'm using this to seal or lock in the moisture in my hair. Following that I'm just going to section off my hair into smaller sections because it's easier for me to maintain and manipulate my hair when it's sectioned. Now the styling pomade that I'm using is by Shea Moisture and I'm going to apply that to each individual section as I roll it. First detangle the section, take the perm rod, wrap it around the ends a few times and then I'm using that same twist and roll method that I use in my flexi rod video. Once I get all the way to the top, I'm just going to snap the perm rod into place. Now I'm going to show you this method one more time and I'll try to slow it down as I actually explain it. So take a section of hair, detangle that section of hair. You want it to be fairly smooth. Apply the styling pomade throughout the section. Take the perm rod, wrap it around the perm rod a couple of times, then twist the hair and roll it up a little bit, twist it again, roll it up a little bit, twist it again, and roll it up a little bit. Once you get to the roots of the hair, you just want to snap it in place. So this is what my hair looked like after I first did it, and this is what my hair looks like the next morning. See, it's kind of cute, the rollers. They don't look too too bad so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the perm rods which is actually very simple unhook the perm rod hold the root of the hair and then just twist the perm rod off so as you notice I like to hold the root and then just rotate the perm rod in the opposite direction in which it was rolled and that will easily release your curls without any snags or breakage now here's my hair with all of the perm rods out so that you can just see the curl pattern. I'm going to proceed to separate them and basically I'm just going to twist them in the opposite direction and then pull them apart in about three or four sections. The smaller the sections, the more volume you will have. But because I wanted to wear this for at least a week, I tried not to separate them that much. After separating the curls, I'm just going to grab my handy dandy pick and I'm going to lift at the roots. This is just going to give it a bit of a fuller look without disturbing the curl pattern. So you kind of get that height and fluff 
but you still get those beautiful spiral structured curls which was the look that I was going for so I'm just going to pick all around my head stop look fluff it out and see if it's giving me that round shape and then pick until I feel like I've achieved the perfect look enjoyed this video I have really been enjoying like wearing my hair in more structured curls I just think that it's beautiful if you want to know what's on my lips this is Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in sepia and I have the battle lash Lost box palette on my eye so guys thank you for the continued support you can also, follow me on Instagram at I know Lee with an extra E. And of course, subscribe so that you get videos weekly because I'm back on my game. Thank you for the constant love and support. I really appreciate it. See you guys in my next video. Bye. I think that she wanted some attention while I was recording my videos because, you know, she kept meowing and making noise with her little bell in the background and now she's not acting right but yeah this is my kitty mm. okay <laughs> she like put me down hey girl you make me wanna write a song